In this video, we're going to take a look at standard A3D, which says the student is expected to graph the solution set of linear inequalities in two variables on the coordinate plane. Let's take a moment to review some of the terminology associated with this standard, the symbols and, and how we graph the symbols on the coordinate plane. So for the inequality um, less than, um, when you're graphing an inequality with a less than on the coordinate plane, that means that the line is going to be dashed and that the shading is going to be below the graph of the line. When we have the inequality greater than and we're graphing on the coordinate plane, that means the line is going to be dashed and shading is going to be above the line. When we are looking at less than or equal to, the line of that inequality is going to be, or the graph of that inequality is going to be a solid line with shading below the line. For greater than or equal to, the graph of that inequality will be a solid line with shading above the line. Let's look at a released assessment item. This problem is from the 2016 Algebra 1 STAR EOC exam. And let's, let's look at this problem. The graph of 0.5x minus 2y equals 3 is shown on the grid. Which ordered pair is in the solution set of 0.5x minus 2y is greater than or equal to 3? So before we can determine which part of the graph to shade, whether we want to shade above the line or below the line, we need to rewrite this inequality into slope-intercept form. So let's do that first. So 0.5x minus 2y is greater than or equal to 3. So we want to get the y by itself, put it in y equals mx plus b form, slope intercept. So we are going to move this 0.5x to the other side of the inequality by subtracting it from both sides of the inequality. That's going to give us negative 2y is greater than or equal to negative 0.5x plus 3. Now we're going to divide all the terms of this inequality by negative 2 so we can isolate our y and that's going to give us y. Now remember when we divide an inequality by a negative term we have to reverse the inequality. So this is now going to become a less than or equal to. So y is less than or equal to so here, we could leave it like this, but we know that when we divide two negatives, it's a positive, so we could leave it as 0.5x over 2. Divide here, and that's going to give us a negative or a minus 1.5. We could, if we want, to rewrite this term, x term, um, as a fraction. We could, so if you divide 0.5 by 2, that gives us 1 fourth. So y is less than or equal to 1 fourth x minus 1.5. So this means the slope of this linear inequality is a positive 1 fourth and the y-intercept is negative 1.5. So let's take a moment and just verify this slope and the y-intercept with the graph of this line here on the coordinate plane. So we can see that the y-intercept is at negative 1.5. It's here between negative 1 and negative 2, so it's negative 1.5. Notice that the, the scale is counting by a half. So if we want to see or test the slope of 1 fourth, that means we're going to go up a whole so that it be up to 0.5 and then over 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, and we will be on that line. So this line is graphed correctly. We did our work correctly here. So now it says, which ordered pairs in the solution set of 0.5x minus 2y greater than or equal to 3? So which of these points lies in the shaded area of the graph? So we know now, because we rewrote this in slope-intercept form, that we have to shade below the line because it's a less than or equal to. So that means it's graphed with a solid line, and we shade below. So now let's check each of these coordinate pairs from the answer choices to see which one lies in the solution set. So the point negative 2 and 0 
So that means I'm going to go two units to the left and up half a unit. And there's negative two, 0 0.5. Does that point lie in the solution set? No, because the solution set is the line because it's solid. So that means it's included in the solution set and everything below that line. So answer choice A is not correct. Let's check the coordinate point, positive two, positive one. So from the origin, two units to the right, one unit up. And we see that that point does not lie in the solution set either. Two, negative one. So let's plot that coordinate point from the origin, two units to the right, one unit down. And that lies on the line. And remember the line, since it's solid, is part of the solution set. So that looks like that's gonna be our answer, but let's check answer choice G as well. So negative two, negative 0 0.5. So from the origin, two units to the left, half a unit down. That does not lie in the solution set. So the correct answer is two negative one. That point lies in the solution set for the inequality.